Finally, tree diagrams can be used to find conditional probabilities. In this example, Claire has a bag containing seven blue counters and four red counters. She chooses two counters at random without replacement, given that her second counter is a blue counter. Find the probability that her first counter was red. We can draw a tree diagram for this. You can see the start of it below. Let's fill in the rest. So let's say she draws a blue here, which must mean she draws a red there. And the same for the next branches. From there, we can fill in the probabilities the same as we have the other one. So on the first one, there's 11 balls in total, 7 plus 4, and 7 were blue. So that's 7 elevenths. And the same for the red one. Four, 4 red ones, 11 in total. And then notice they are not replaced. It says without replacement. So the total goes down. So we know on the next draw, they're all going to be out of 10. If you draw a blue first, so there's seven originally, there'll be six blue afterwards. So this one's six out of 10. If you draw a blue first, then of course the red number hasn't changed. So it's still four red. If you draw a red first, of course the blue counter doesn't change. So still seven blue. Um, if you draw a red first, four originally, take one away. There's only three left. So this one's three times. Notice how each pair adds up to one. Then you need to use the and rule along each different route. So we could have a blue, then a blue which would be 7 elevenths times 6 tenths. So blue, then a blue, 7 elevenths times 6 tenths, which 7 times 6 is 42. 11 times 10 is 110. Then you could have a blue, then a red, which is, again, 7 elevenths, but for the blue, sorry, for the red second, would be 4 tenths. 7 times 4 is 28. 11 over 10, 110. Then we could have a red, then a blue, which would be 4 elevenths times 7 tenths. 4 times 7 is 28. 11 times 10 is 110. Or we could have a red, then a red, which is 4 elevenths times 3 elevenths. Sorry, 3 tenths, not 3 elevenths. Because 3 tenths there. 4 times 3 is 12. 11 times 10 is 110. Now recall that the formula for the probability is the number of ways an outcome can happen over the total number of possible outcomes. In this case, since we know that her second counter is blue, our possible outcomes are only the branches red then blue or blue then blue, which are the top one here or this one red then blue. Okay. Our numerator is the single outcome red then blue as we want the probability that the first counter was red. So that's going to be on the top, this value from here. Then we need to figure out the total number of ways that we can have a blue as the second counter, which is this one and this one. So on the bottom, you'd have 42 over 110 plus 28 over 110. And then from there, this is a little bit difficult fraction to deal with without a calculator. However, everything's over 110, so we can simplify it down slightly, get 28 over 42 plus 28. Then working this out, you end up with 28 over 70. And in this case, we're done because it doesn't ask for the simplest form. However, if you want to, you could simplify it down and you'd end up with two fifths. In general, we have the following formula for the conditional probability. It's the probability of A given that B has happened. So in this case, we were given that the second draw is, is blue, that's B, is equal to the probability of A and B over the probability of B. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic exam on our learning platform? Here, you can answer a series of questions and assess your ability with this topic and then get feedback in both a written form and then a video form if you're still unsure on how to solve the problem.